The Department of Homeland Security uses sophisticated technologies, like this night vision device, to detect terrorist threats along the U.S. border. And it's my job to maintain these systems. <laughs> Ice and shine, motherfuckers. I am News Stimulator, and this is the fucking news. Put simply, Keith, I know fucking racist. Now, if I can be real with y'all, it seriously fucking pays me to give this orange glazed pork rind so much space on this fucking show. But every time you think he and his fucking scum sucking cabal or psychophantic fluffers have hit rock bottom in terms of sheer fucking moral depravity. I am a hat. You are a shoe. I belong on the head. You belong on the foot. They just fire up the backhoe and go to fucking town. The latest stop in this non-stop fucking freefall was the Orange One's official state-sanctioned policy of kidnapping over 2,000 brown kids at the border, ripping them away from their familia and throwing them in makeshift jails set up in the bowels of vacant fucking Walmarts. This family moment is brought to you by Walmart. This so-called zero-tolerance policy of Americana ethnic cleansing was authored by none other than Stephen Miller, the ghoulish baby-hating racist who, in addition to bearing a chilling resemblance to the weird fucking aliens from the movie Dark City, we use your dead as vessels. also happens to be all college buddies with Brooke Brothers fascist Dick Sphinxter, this 31-year-old fucking virgin. That's not true, Jake who also played a leading role in crafting Trump's anti-Muslim travel ban last year, is probably the most balls-out fascist member of Donald's inner circle left standing ever since Steve Bannon was shit-canned. This is Steve. He never thought it could happen to him. And Sebastian Gorka went back to Fox News. Undocumented immigrants are animals. And last week, like the true piece of shit that he is, Miller decided to celebrate his crowning policy achievement of successfully throwing thousands of terrified children into fucking cages by going out for an overpriced DC chimichanga. But before he could even complain that the salsa was too hot, he was promptly confronted and heckled by a righteous hero who recognized his gone fucking mug from TV and decided to call him out. Hey, look, guys, whoever thought we'd be in a restaurant with a real-life fascist begging for money for new cages? And you can rest a fucking sure that wasn't the worst thing that happened to him that night. Hope you like your frijoles with extra pubes, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Mama, you can't be mixing Mexican and continental. Seizing on the horror provoking all decent fucking people by the images of sobbing children and the strapped mothers on their screen, Democrats have slid her out from under the rocks to cynically exploit the situation in a measured gamble that the wailing tots will play well for them in the upcoming midterms. Oh, well, it's perfectly natural to be horrified by these shocking fucking images. Them shouldn't act so fucking surprised. After all, the United Snakes has a long motherfucking storied history of ripping kids away from their parents. Fuck it. They've got a long and storied present. You think none of those 2.2 million peeps running away in the American Gulag system have kids? What about all the children snatched up by Child Protective Services or the racist fucking Indian Child Welfare Act? Truth is, these craven political hacks could give two shits about these poor children <laughs> and are only responding to recent polls that suggest that two out of every three Americans disapprove of Donald's recent baby napping policy. Wait, 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 what the fuck? Two out of three, two out of three, three minus two, carry the one. <gasps> Billy, crunch those fucking numbers for me. That means that one out of every three fucking Americans supports ripping kids away from their parents if they're brown? That's almost 110 million fucking people. This is some scary shit! Now, I'm no fucking statistician. Yes, science! But it seems like the liberals hoping to regain America's allegedly misplaced moral compass should take serious fucking stock of the fact that fully one third of their country are totally unashamed, racist psychopaths who are happy to cheer on their fewer in chief as he locks up babies, openly talks about giving ice the power to the poor people without due process, 
and takes to Twitter to describe asylum seekers fleeing cartel death squads as an infestation seeking to invade the country. I won't pretend to know exactly what the fuck to do about this dangerous reality we've arrived at. And winter is coming. But as the United Snakes becomes even more fucking unhinged, and the orange one gloats about his plans to set up a motherfucking space force to put giant fucking laser beams into space. I'm in the laser! Space Force! Space Force! It seems like the time to seriously throw down is now a fucking moment. Boy, that escalated quickly. And that's all the fucking news for today. As always, don't forget to support my ass at sub.media slash donate or buy a t-shirt or a coffee mug with my face on it or pre-order our brand new black block t-shirt at sub.media slash gear. And remember to follow me on all your mass surveillance and my control platforms. Just search for Stimulator. Hasta la pasta, compañeras.